Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacat. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very useful but simple function in DAX called related, how you can use it to uh, in Power BI to get a value from a field in another table within your calculation. Let's see how it works. Before I talk about the related function, it is important that you understand uh, the relationship within your model, uh, what the relationships are, what is one-to-many relationship, many-to-one relationship, the direction, and, and things like that. There are links down in the description below to uh, my blog, which explains, uh, which has links to some other videos and blogs about the relationship, so I strongly recommend you to go and check them out. Uh, let's assume that you know some of the basics of a relationship, which basically means filtering one table by, um, by a value from another table. And uh, we have a model like this. I have a fact internet sales table, product table, subcategory, and category. And they are connected based on the key fields uh, to each other. Uh, now, one of the things uh, we can... Um, we normally want to do uh, in some scenarios is that we want a field from another uh, value from uh, a field in another table inside this table. If that is the case, you have to always consider that you might do it using merge command in uh, Power Query and use it, but sometimes you want to use it in a calculation. Now, this is not really a star schema. I build it just for the purpose of this example to show you how the related function works. Otherwise, some of these things I'm telling you can be done in a much more efficient way using Power Query. Now, let's say I want to bring product subcategory name, which exists in this table, into the dim product. I can go to the dim product and I can write a calculated column. It is a new column that I've created and I wrote it this way. I said, whatever the name of this column is, it is going to have the English product subcategory name field from the product subcategory. This is not going to work. This is giving me a f uh, uh, an error. The reason for that error, as you see the error here, the reason for that error is that English product subcategory name is a column within this table and we have multiple rows in there so it is not returning one single value if i'm using that in a calculated column i need to have one single value returned and that is where the related function can help uh, the way that the related function works is just like this sorry i didn't mean to create a new table i mean to create a new column uh, it, it's like this. I can simply just say this is equal to related. It accepts only one parameter as the input, uh, and that is the column name for the uh, from the table that we want the information from. So here uh, I have already an example of using that. This is a scalar function. It returns one single value. Uh, I have a column, a calculated column, again created, and I said I want related and the same thing so everything i had in the previous calculation i put it inside the related so uh, english products of category name from the dim products of category inside the related that means this calculation will go through the existing relationship between these two tables which is based on the product subcategory key i don't need to mention that because this is already in the model already there's a relationship with that and it will bring this value into the subcategory into this table that is what the related uh, field does it will a related f uh, function does it will go through the existing relationship brings a value from the one side of relationship to the other side which can be many side or it can be one as well and uh, that is the behavior of the related function and it returns one single value as a result here i see the subcategory you'll see it is blank the reason is that there are many many products without subcategory but if i scroll down i'll see that information presented here now related function is a really simple function as you can see it works really simply you could do this with lookup value as well but this makes it much simpler than lookup value because if if you use lookup value 
you have to write the logic of your calculation again in the lookup value saying that this is based on product subcategory in one product subcategory in another one i have a video on lookup value you can go and check it out but if you already have an existing relationship related works much simpler another really interesting thing about related is that it doesn't go through just like one relationship for example if i want the category english product category name from this table to dim product it doesn't mean i have to say related related i just use one related and one related will traverse through all of the relationships so i can fetch this value all the way from here to here using just one related because there are relationships already there if you have 10 relationships 15 relationships it doesn't really matter as long as the type of relationship supports the related function it will go through and traverse and you'll have the result of that here i have the category column and you can see that uh, i use the related and it returns the value of that without saying related related just one returned the value and here is the result uh, however you have to always consider that there are some type of relationships that um, the related function doesn't work for that the key to that is to always think about it that this should return one single value for example uh, if looking at the same relationship area here if i want to have a value like this used all the way into this table it is possible because uh, it returns one value per each product key here because for each product key there is only one product subcategory key that is why what many to one we have for each product subcategory key there is only one record here for each of those there is only one record here so this would return only one value back all the way there so really related can work this way without any problem however it cannot work the other way around you cannot have related working this way because it will return multiple values from those tables in those cases we use a different function normally something like related table because it returns a table and i'll explain about that in another video uh, now can you use related inside a measure yes you can use it in a measure uh, again this example i'm showing to you can be done in much simpler ways using calculate function here i just wrote it this way to show you how the related works let's say i want to calculate sum of sales for red products now just to show you that relationship so uh, the sales itself is in this table fact internet sales table sales amount and the product color is in this table if i filter the product color table uh, if if i filter the product table by the color it filters that but then i don't have sales amount here so the way that i wrote it just as an example to show it to you how it works is that i filtered the fact internet sales table directly by using the color i couldn't use color directly because that is in another table so i use the related function to get that value from another table saying that if that is equal to red filter the fact internet sales now because this result is a fact internet sales table i'm getting the sales amount of that again i'm saying that there are other simpler ways to write it using calculate uh, but i just wrote it this way to show you how the related function works it is quite simple function to use very handy in many situations consider using this instead of lookup value in some situations uh, and that's about it this is how related function works in power bi and dax if you like this video go ahead and subscribe into our youtube channel we have weekly videos on power bi